Welcome to another video with Mr. Long. And if you're an IT student, I'm going to show you the T page control component, which is a really useful component if you want to have multiple screens without having to create multiple forms. So a really useful tool that you can use in your pet. So let's go check out the T page control components. Before we do, if you've ever used Word, you might have seen something like this where you do borders and shading. And you've noticed at the top there that there are actually three different sections to this dialog. There's the border section, which has its own options, like the settings, the style, and so on. But if I click over there, you'll see that there's different tabs. If I go to the other tab for the page border, I, although this one looks very similar to the previous one, it's slightly different, but it's a whole bunch of options which pertain to a different aspect of the Word document. And then if I click on shading, I'll go to a completely different different set of options. So basically I've got three different screens on the same dialog. Well, we want to create that effect where we've got tabs at the top and each tab will have its own unique screen. So that's what we're going to use the T page control for. So yeah, I've got my program and I'm going to come to 132. That's where you are looking for. And please take note, I know we're using tabs, but don't use the tab control. You want the page control. So I'm going to click on the page control. I'm going to put it on my screen over here. And it looks just like a blank screen. So I'm going to make it a bit bigger and I'm going to give it a nice name. So I'm going to call this a PGCL for page control and main. So this is my page control. What I do next is I right click on it and I click new page and that will create the tab. Now you need to be very specific. Here. There is a tab sheet and there is a page control. Look at where the bubbles, I call these things bubbles. Look at where they are. So this means the whole page control is selected. So we're dealing with the properties of the page control. But when I click inside here, I'm now on the tab sheets properties and those are very different things. So this is going to be called tab sheet TBST first screen. Okay. So let's call it TBL first. Just so we can know now that's the name and if you want to change what the actual tab says there will be a caption available so let's go to the caption and change this as the first screen then you can right click here and add a new page and if you don't want a page you can right click on it and you can delete a page if you don't want it you can also move between pages or you can just simply click where you want remember that at the moment it's selected the whole page control so click inside so we make sure that we're on the tab sheet i'm going to give this called tab sheet second and I'll give it a nice little caption called second. And then I'm going to add a third one. And this one's going to be my admin screen. So let's go give it a name, TBST admin. On the side here, you can really see that there's a page control with three tabs on it. And you can go to a particular tab and you can actually put things on this particular screen. So for example, if we come over here and we go and we put a memo on this particular tab, when I click on the second tab, you'll notice that that memo is not available anymore because it is on the first screen. You can still access it via code, but you can't see it when you go to the other tabs. So I'm going to go put some things on these other tabs quickly. As you can see, I've added a couple of things to the first screen and the second tab, I've added a couple of things and on the admin, I've added a couple of buttons. I'm not too worried about what they're going to be doing. Let's just take note of some of the properties, first of all, of the page control. Remember, we're on the page control, not on the tabs. There are some interesting properties that you can look at. For example, the style. So at the moment, it's set to tab tabs but you can actually make them into buttons so it looks like that and you can make them into flat buttons where they look like that when they go between so it's almost like the same color as the background so you can have that effect if you want i'm going to keep it as tabs and then I want you to look at the tab index. The tab index tells you which tab is currently selected. So if I go to the second tab, you'll see that the tab index is now a one. So the first tab is tab zero. The second tab is tab one and the third one is tab two. So that's the tab index. So for example, over here, if we want to click on this screen and we want to go to a particular tab, so we're moving from one tab to another, let's double click on it. Then basically I'm changing the page control dot tab index and we're going to set it to the second one remember the first one zero so the second one is technically number one make sure that we save everything and let's go test it so let's go back let's run it so I'm on the first tab. When I click on this one, boom, it takes me to the second tab. So that's how you can navigate between the different tabs by changing the tab index of the page control. So that's the first thing that I would suggest that you do. And then another useful thing that is quite nice is that you, for example, here we've got an administrator and the administrator will be allowed to see the admin options, but we don't want that to all be available to everyone. So for example, what we could do is on this tab, make sure we go to not the page control. We want to go to the tab sheet so this tab sheet i'm going to go down here and make the tab visible not the visible the tab visible property to false so now it's gone do you see that it's not there anymore so now it's gone so now when i go to this admin login 
I'm going to say when the user types in a password of one, two, three, it's not a very sophisticated admin system, but just for this example, I'm going to now say that the tab sheet for the admin dot tab visible is going to equal to true. So by putting in the admin password, you'll get access to the admin tab sheet. So let's run it. So straight away, you'll notice that the program does not have access to the admin and we can play around here. Let's say I'm an administrator, I click on there. If I type in the wrong password, nothing happens. But if I type in the right password, which is one, two, three, four, five, click OK. There we go. Now the admin option has been made available. So now we can access that. So maybe you want to have a log out as admin button. And all you're doing then is making this tab visible property of the tab sheet to false. Those are the main properties of the page control and the tab sheets. The only other thing I would might mention is if you've got a whole bunch of tabs, let's say you go all the way across and you're getting right to the end, then you're going to have to scroll across quite a bit. What you can do is if you come over here, there is a multi-line option. And if you make that into true, okay, it doesn't really affect this one because there are only two. But if you have a whole bunch of options and you have multi-line, it will then make those tabs across the top and another layer of tabs underneath it. You might have seen that in a word, for example, when you see tabs at the top and then more tabs over there. So like a multi-level of different tabs or tab buttons that's the other thing and also just remember if you want to change the order of these tabs so for example i actually want this to be my first screen then you're going to click on the actual tab sheet and you come here to the page index at the moment the page index is a one we're going to change it to a zero and you'll notice that it's moved it to the first option so it's naught is that it will shift everything else up accordingly so this one's page index should now be if i click on just the tab sheet is now a one so you can use that to change the order of your particular one so let's send that back to one there we go now let's jump it back to that one okay so there we go so those are the main properties regarding a page control and i really hope that it can be useful for your pets for more pets and tips and things that you can do in both your rt and your cat pet as well as programming and computer literacy tools make sure that you become a subscriber of mr long education at mr long rt and cat and remember don't do it a long way do it the mr long way